Hi everyone, thank you for joining me in this video. I'm gonna be showing you how I make some very simple little crosses out of a three and a half inch and a two and a half inch square cut nail. And I'm welding them together using a 110 welder, so it plugs into a regular outlet. It's flux core, so you don't need any gas. Um, all I do is I take a longer nail, then a shorter nail, and I hold them together into the approximate shape of a cross. So I'd say about two thirds up and then just try to make the horizontal nail as straight or as perpendicular, as square as possible to the larger nail. So I clamp them together using a vice grip needle nose pliers. And then even after you get them clamped, you can usually kind of tweak it just a little bit. And then I put the grounding strap for the, or grounding clamp for the welder onto the back side of the pliers. As far as the welding setter, uh, settings go, you don't have to worry about that. Just kind of toy around on it on the first uh, two, uh, one or two of them. But I have this one set to about 75% of its power and just a little under 30 as far as the wire feed goes. So I'm just gonna tack them very lightly on each side of the vertical part of the cross. So the one I just welded, of course, is very hot very quickly. So that side, I'd say, is more optimal. This side, I kind of welded a little bit more. But once this is all cleaned up, it looks perfectly fine. This one's hot, so I'm going to set that one down. Take a look at these. So afterwards, you can just kind of clean them up with a wire brush. So that's, that's optimal. Just a light tack down in each corner. So that's what you end up with. And I'm currently making about 60 or so. I bought the nails by the pound. It was uh, two pounds of the larger nails, and it was four dollars and some cents, uh, four fifty per pound. And then I bought a pound of the shorter nails. So you're looking at, I think it was fourteen some dollars for all the nails to make 64 of these. And if you divide that out, you're not spending much on each one. And the value of giving these to someone could be great. If you're not familiar with what the cross is all about, I'll put a link in the description below and you can click on that to see more. And from here, you could do all kinds of different things with these. You could put some sort of a little loop around the top and a chain or a rope or whatever it is you want. You could just bind something with really tight twisting around there and have this be um, a necklace. Uh, you could uh, do something where you weld bunches of them together and make some sort of a decorative thing. Is all different types of ideas and all it is is just lightly tacking um, them together with the welder and I used the vice grips but if you made some sort of a little jig where the nails kind of drop down and some little clamp just clamped right there it'd be really really fast to make these but I'm just making a handful so I'm just doing it this way right on the front steps of my house so that's about it appreciate you all watching I'll see you in the next one